All right, welcome to the last foundational skill in discrete mathematics, probably the hardest foundational skill, and this is counting. It's going to start out easy, then it's going to get very hard, and I will say that I will be doing quite a few examples, and the whole point of learning how to count is not about learning formulas, it's about learning how to abstract what you're trying to figure out and then applying a formula. Since a lot of these questions, knowing the formulas will get you 20 to 25 percent. Knowing how to apply the formulas and how to figure out what the problem is asking is what separates the A's from the B's and C's. So let's start off with some intuitive things. How many ways can you roll a 5 or a 6 on a die with 6 faces? I assume all dice are 6-sided dice and all decks are 52-card decks without jokers. These are assumptions I'm making in all of the questions. So how many ways can you roll a 5 or a 6 on a die? Well, that's pretty easy. There's two ways. The possible ways you can write, you can roll are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And well, you can roll a 5 one way, and you can roll a 6 the other way. Therefore, the answer is 2. How many ways can you draw a face card in a deck? Well... Face cards are jacks, queens, and kings, and you have diamonds for each of them, you have clubs for each of them, my terrible drawing of clubs, that's not even a club, <laughs> that's so terrible, uh, you have hearts for each, op each option, and you have spades for each option, which surprisingly my spades look much nicer. So here, you can see that there's 12 possible ways to draw a face card as your first card. Of course, if you drew a second card, you would have less ways because you just took one out. But what we have there is an example of the principle of addition. So what we say is if we have two separate tasks, A and B, and A can be done in N ways, and B can be done in M ways, of course these are variable numbers, then both of them together can be done in n plus m ways. I really hope this is obvious. For instance, how many ways are there to, are there to roll a 5 or a 6 on a die? There's 2. How many ways are there to draw a face card? There's 12. How many ways are there if I want to roll a die or draw a face card? So if I say, okay, I want a 5-6 or a face card or is a very very key word in fact I'm going to write it in capital letters I'm gonna make the R look like a nice R this is the same thing as 2 plus 12 which is equal to 14 the word or usually means plus in these sort of scenarios this is not always okay this is not always so when I say these things, this does not mean always, this means likely. You have to read the question and you have to think, what are they asking? That is the most important part, is to ask yourself, well, what is the question asking of you? Because the words will not always directly translate into formulas. You have to abstract what they're saying and turn it into a scenario in your head and then figure out what to do from there. So if I say five or six or a face card, that's task 1, task 2, put them together, you get 2 plus 12, which is 14. There's 14 ways to roll a 5 or a 6, or draw a face card. Okay, here's one. How many different ways can you make an ice cream cone? With one scoop. If you're given a choice of 3 types of cones, 30 flavors of ice cream, and 5 toppings. But we're really going to say there's four toppings, and one of your options is to have no toppings. So we're going to say it's five toppings. Well, first of all, step one is you need to pick a cone. So there's three possible ways you can do the first one. And then your second one, you need to pick a flavor. So if you have nothing... Your first choice is going to be one of three cones. Your second choice, you're going to have 
30 different flavors to choose from. So this is a very terrible tree to draw, but each option has 30 there. And then your last one, you have to pick a topping. And each one of these little nodes here is going to split off into five different parts because you have five different options. So the total number of ways to do this is going to be 3 times 30 times 5, which is 450 ways. Now why is this? Well, because there's 30 different flavors of ice cream, and each one of them can be matched with one different type of cone. So you can have 3 times 30 combinations of cones and ice cream. So you have 90 different ice creams. And now you take each one of those ice cream and you say, okay, which one of these five toppings do I want on it? So you have 90 times five different topping options. So that's 450 total different types of ice cream you can get with only three types of cones, 30 flavors, and five toppings. So you could bring 450 people and everyone could get a different ice cream cone. Somebody, of course, would end up with, uh, like prunes with gummy worms and like a sugar cone. So, I mean, those poor, poor souls, but in the, in the case that that exists, I mean, someone can have it, right? We, we can't just count the good flavors because then there would only be like 16 possibilities. We have to count all of them. Anyways, this is called the product principle or principle of multiplication. And we say in a list or a set of tasks, A, B, if there's n ways of choosing a and m ways of choosing b, then there are n times m ways of choosing a, b. And basically these are subs subsequent tasks or subsequent tasks, which means we do a, then we do b, then we do c, and this occurs in a list. And what I will want to say is that these rules of products and addition are very primitive you're going to find very difficult questions later. Do not forget these basic principles because sometimes a very difficult looking question can just be a very simple application of the product or addition principle. So please remember these. But let's do an example here with license plates. Every textbook loves license plates and I love license plates as a first example. So how many ways can we pick a license plate that has three letters and then four numbers? I'm going to go through the step-by-step -step process with you and let's think about this. It's not saying that letters cannot be repeated. So how many letters are there in the alphabet? Well, there's 26. So the first letter has 26 options and then the second letter has 26 options, so we want to multiply because we can have 26 times 26 combinations of two letters. Okay, and now the third letter has 26 options. Now we move on to numbers. There are 10 numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we have 10 numbers for the first number. We have 10 numbers for the second, third, and fourth. So we have this number here, which I'm going to shorten to 26 cubed times 10 to the 4, and that is how many options you have for a three-letter, four-number license plate. So you're not running out of license plate numbers anytime soon. What if we were a little bit more specific, and we want a license plate that looks like 42 A E O 6 G H. What if we want a license plate to look like this? Well, we want even numbers. So how many even numbers are there? Well, there's 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. So we have 5 to choose from for the first and second. How many vowels are there? Well, there's A, E, I, O, N, U, sometimes Y, sometimes W. We're not including those, but we have 5 options. For those ones. In fact, I'm going to break this up so you know exactly what pairs with which here. Okay. We have one number, so this can be any of the ten numbers. That's fine by me. 
And then we want two letters, which again, they seem to be any letters we want. So we want 26 times 26 letters. That's not too bad. And this would be the end result for us. So we can rewrite this as 5 to the 5 times 10 times 26 squared. Of course, you would not be allowed a calculator in the exam, most likely, so leaving it like this would be sufficient. So that was the principle of products and additions. So hopefully this will make sense as a nice introduction to counting. Starting next video is going to get a lot harder a lot quickly, so be prepared for that. If you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments, especially textbook questions that you don't get. That's probably the best way to learn. Of course, please, please try them first. Obviously, you know, you need to, you need to fly on your own. Spread your wings. Go for it. Anyways, leave them in the comments, and I will see you in a future video, hopefully.